So in this exercise, we are going to check how are we going to attempt these typical questions that we are given. Uh, we are given, this is our exercise six now on our Euclidean geometry. Remember, we had previous exercises. So this is a continuation. We are not going to waste much time. Uh, we are asked on number one, complete the statements by filling in the missing words meaning each part there are words that you're supposed to put in uh, to complete the statement and like i said before to complete that statement you need your theorems okay so let us have our first question tangents drawn to a circle from a common point outside the circle outside the circle ah uh, so that is the person remember this that's your circle two tangents they are drawn okay they are drawn like this but they are from the common point this is our common point this is it from the common point i said once you have this situation where this is a certain point, maybe this is T and this is going to be A, this is going to be B, you are supposed to know that these two will be equal in length. The distance that you measure from A to T is the same as the distance from B to T. So that's our theorem. So these two tangents, they are equal in length. So the statement there, was tangents drawn to a circle from a common point. Outside the circle are equal in length. So these ones, they are equal in length. Okay. That is, that is the statement there. Okay. So I think you understand your theorem. Um, that is how we're supposed to have this. Uh, we, we need our theorems in each and every part that we're going to have at the end of the day. Uh, that is what you're going to have. So that was our theorem seven. Uh, theorem six, if I'm not mistaken, from what we did. Theorem six. The radius of any circle, of any circle, always meets a tangent to the circle at, all right, at the point of contact. So remember, the radius, it meets the tangent at, 90 degrees at any point of contact. It meets this at 90 degrees. So given the center of, and this is your radius, and this is a tangent, these two, they meet at 90 degrees. So that is the condition. So they meet at 90 degrees. The angle between a tangent and a chord is to the angle subtended by the same chord in the alternate segment. If we have a tangent and a chord is drawn, I say this chord is going to subtend a certain angle at the circumference. This angle that is being subtended by this chord at the circumference, this angle here, theta, or maybe whatever the angle that you want to name there, okay, let's just use x so that we get used to this. It is the same as this angle between the tangent and the chord. So the angle between the tangent and the chord. So you hold this chord. You hold it. Where is it creating the angle? It creates the angle there. Where it creates the angle, it is the same as this, which is the same concept. If we were to consider this from this side, this tangent and the chord, there is an angle created Let's say this is Y. This also going to be Y. This chord is creating an angle this side here. So you hold the chord like this. It creates the angle where? This side. So that is the idea of this. So meaning to say, let's, let's answer our question. The question was, the angle between a tangent and the chord, the angle between a tangent and the chord is, so it is Y. To the angle this one is equal or the same so this is 
equal they are the same okay to the angle subtended by the same it must be the same chord same chord but in the alternate segment okay 1.4 if the angle between a line and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord in the alternate segment, then the line is. What are they having here? If the angle between a line and a chord, if the angle between a line, you, you are considering this as a line now. There is an angle created between a line and a chord. A line and a chord. This, this is our chord here. This is your chord. And this is, they are considering this as a line. We do, we do, for now, you consider as if you do not know the name of the line. That is the way, the converse. So remember the converse theorem. All right? So you take this like you do not know what is happening on this line. So they are saying, if the angle between a line and a chord is equal to the angle subtended by the chord in the alternate, it is equal to the angle subtended by the same chord, this chord here, in the alternate segment, then the line is, this line, it is what? So it's just a converse of this part. So before this line was what? It was a tangent. So meaning to say, we are talking about the same tangent. The same tangent, but this tangent that we are talking about, it is to the circle. So here they're saying the line is a tangent, all right? So the line is a tangent to the circle. That is the idea there. The line that you're going to have will be a tangent. So it is the converse theorem of our theorem seven, where we talk, where we are saying the angle between a tangent, the angle between a tangent to a circle and a chord, there's an angle between a tangent and a chord to the circle, is equal to the angle in the alternate segment. So this angle is equal to the angle in the alternate segment so these are typical questions that you might actually have in your final examinations you just have to know uh work with the theorems like i said before so we shall have uh, more questions on this exercise in our next classes